hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today in this video we are going to see how to crochet this cute simple and practical bottle bag for carrying your use and throw water bottles the written pattern of this cute bottle bag is available in my website the yarn bowl crochet.com meanwhile if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new video So for this project I'll be using Premier Hipster Cotton. It's a 100% cotton yarn and, and uh, the color scheme of this yarn is rainbow roller skates and um, it's a size 3 yarn and uh, they recommend us to use 4 millimeter crochet hook um, for this uh, yarn but I'll be using 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and we'll need scissors as well. So for the starting round one we'll be working a magic ring and then we work chain three which is considered as our first double crochet and then we'll go ahead work um, 15 more double crochets on our magic ring and once we are done with that we are going to work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain three to close this round one and then you can tighten your magic ring and secure it with a knot. So for round 2, I am going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet and then I will work one double crochet on this same stitch and uh, from now on, on every stitch I am going to work two double crochets. So work two double crochets on every stitch around and then once you are done with that work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 3 to close this round 2 so at the end of round 2 we will have 32 double crochet stitches so uh, we are considering our starting chain 3 as a double crochet stitch as well so go ahead work 2 double crochet in every stitch around So I'm working a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 3 to close this round 2. So now we can proceed with round 3. For round 3 I'm going to work a chain 3 which is considered as my first double crochet and then I will work 2 double crochet on the next stitch. On the next stitch after that I'll work 1 double crochet. On the next stitch I'm going to work 2 double crochet. So uh, we're going to work 1 double crochet in 1 stitch and 2 double crochet on the next stitch around and then once you're done with that we're going to work a slip stitch on top of our starting chain 3 to close this round 3. So at the end of round 3 we will have 48 double crochet stitches. <laughs> So now we have worked three rounds and uh, I'm going to keep my uh, water bottle here to measure if this base is sufficient and uh, this is a 500 ml uh, water bottle so I think this should be enough so we'll start working with the 
body for this bag so for this uh, we can proceed with round 4 for round 4 I'm gonna work a chain 2 this chain 2 is considered as my first half double crochet and on the next stitch I'm gonna pick up only the back loop and I'm gonna work one half double crochet on the back loop of the next stitch and uh, on every stitch I'm gonna only pick up my back loop and then work one half double crochet so we're gonna work one half double crochet on the back loop of every stitch around and once you're done with that I'm gonna work a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 2 to close this round 4 so we are almost done working back loop half double crochets around I'm gonna work um, a slip stitch on top of my starting chain 2 which is considered as our first half double crochet to close this round 4 so from now on we are going to work in rounds of uh, we're going to work rounds of arcade stitch let's see how we are going to do that so for that i'm going to work a chain 1 which does not count as a stitch and then i'm going to work a single crochet on the same stitch and then i'm going to skip three stitches work a chain 3 and then I'm going to skip 3 st stitches and then on the 4th stitch I'm going to work 1 single crochet and then I'm going to work a chain 5 and then skip 3 stitches and the, on the next stitch I'm going to work 1 single crochet so I'm going to work chain 3 skip 3 stitches single crochet on the 4th stitch and then chain 5 skip 3 stitches single crochet on the 4th stitch around so so for one time I'm going to work chain 3 skip 3 stitches and work a single crochet on the 4th stitch on the next time I'm going to work 5 chains skip 3 stitches and single crochet on the 4th stitch so we're going to repeat this pattern around and then we're going to work a slip stitch on top of our starting single crochet to close this round 5 <laughs> So now I'm working a slip stitch on top of my starting single crochet to close this round 5. Next we can proceed with round 6. So before proceeding with round 6, I'm going to work a slip stitch on the chain 3 space once. And then I will work double crochet on the second skipped stitch of uh, our round 4. So we have skipped some stitches in the round 4 right so I'm going to work one double crochet on the second skip stitch of our round 4 and in the chain 5 space I'm going to work 11 double crochets. <laughs> So we have worked 11 double crochets on the chain 5 space and again in the next chain 3 space I'm gonna work one double crochet on the second skipped stitch of our round 4. So we're gonna pick up 
the second skip stitch in our round four and work one double crochet with the chain three that we've worked on round five then again in the chain five space I'm going to work 11 double crochets then once again I will work one double crochet on the second skip stitch of our round four along with the chain three of round five so continue working this pattern around and then we will work a slip stitch on top of our starting double crochet to close this round six So now I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting double crochet to close this round 6. Now we can proceed with round 7. So before proceeding with round 7 I'm going to work slip stitch 3 times until we reach the 4th double crochet. And then we are going to work 1 single chain 1 which does not count as a stitch. And then we are going to work 1 single crochet on the fourth double crochet of the 11 double crochet groups and then I'm going to work chain 3 skip 3 stitches and then work one single crochet on the eighth double crochet of the 11 double crochet fan stitch and then I work a chain 5 and uh, take the next fourth double crochet of the next 11 double crochet group and work one single crochet on it and then work a chain 3 skip 3 stitches and then work 1 single crochet on the 8th double crochet of the 11 double crochet fan stitch and then work chain 5 and pick up the next 4th double crochet of the next 11 double crochet fan stitch and work one single crochet on it so basically we are repeating uh, trying to replicate whatever we have done um, in round five so we are creating a base uh, row for working the next set of arcade stitch or fan stitch so we are going to work this pattern around and then we will work a um, slip stitch on top of our starting um, single crochet to close this round 7 So now I'm going to work one slip stitch on top of our starting single crochet to close this round 7. So next we'll create a row of arcade stitches now. So basically we're going to repeat whatever we have done in rows round 6. So I'm going to work one slip stitch on the chain 3 and then I'm going to pick up the second skip stitch that we have skipped the three stitches we have skipped and I'm going to work one double crochet on it and then I will work 11 double crochet on the chain 5 space to create our next arcade stitch and then um, on the chain 3 I'm going to pick up the uh, second skipped stitch of uh, our round 6 and work 1 double crochet on it and then again work 11 double crochet on the chain 5 space 
so we are going to work like this around and then I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting double crochet to close this round 8 so continue working like this around and then work a slip stitch on top of your starting double crochet to close this round 8 <music> So now we are going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting double crochet. So we have created um, two arcade stitches, two rows of arcade stitches. So from now, uh, from round 9 to round 20, we are going to just repeat row 7 and uh, row 8. So we will have a total of 8 uh, arcade uh, stitches around. So continue work working row 7 and row 8 until you reach round number 20. So from round 9 to round 20 we are going to just repeat round 7 and round 8. So continue working like this round. I will meet you at the end of round 20. <laughs> So now we are at the end of round 20 so it's almost time to finish off our bottle bag so I'm gonna work uh, um, a slip stitch on top of my starting double crochet to close this round 20 so before that I just check if this uh, height is enough for my bottle bag I guess this is perfect now we can uh, finish off this arcade stitch rounds and proceed with the final few rounds of our bag and uh, we'll work on our bag handle now for round 21 i'm going to work a slip stitch until i reach my fourth double crochet on the 11 double crochet arcade stitch so once i've uh, reached my fourth double crochet I'm going to work one single crochet on it on the fourth double crochet so work a chain one which does not count as stitch and then work one single crochet on the fourth double crochet and then I work a chain three skip three chain stitches and work one single crochet on the eighth double crochet of this same arcade stitch and then work chain 3 and then reach to the 
next arcade stitch and work one single crochet on the fourth double crochet and uh, chain three skip three stitches and work one single crochet on the next eighth double crochet and work a chain three and uh, reach to the next arcade stitch work one single crochet on the fourth double crochet chain three skip three stitches one single crochet on the eighth double crochet and work chain three reach to the next arcade stitch and repeat the same thing around and once you're done with this work uh, one single crochet on top of the starting single crochet to close this round 21 so now we have almost finished and I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting single crochet uh, to close this round 21. So now I'm going to work chain 1 which does not count as a stitch and then I'm going to work one single crochet on the same stitch. So from now on in every chain 3 space I'm going to work 3 single crochet and one single crochet on top of the single crochet of the previous round. So I'm going to work like this around and uh, once I'm done with that I'm going to work a single slip stitch on top of my starting single crochet to close this round 22. So at the end of this round I'll have 48 single crochet stitches. So now we are going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting single crochet to close this round 23. So for round 22 I am going to work a chain 1 which does not count as a stitch and I am going to work one single crochet on every single crochets of the previous round. So and then I am going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting single crochet to close this round 23. So at the end of round 23 I will have 48 single crochet stitches. Do not fasten off once you are done with uh, this round 23 um, because we are going to work our bag handles continuously. So I am going to try to fit in my uh, water bottle here so it fits perfect and uh, I think this is the ideal length for our bag. So we are going to finish off the bag's body here and then start working our bag handles from now on. So I'm going to work a slip stitch on top of my starting single crochet of round 23 to close this round 23. And let's see how we are going to work our bag handles. So I'm going to work a chain 2 and then I will work 3 double crochet on the next stitch. So we're going to work 3 double crochet on the next stitch. We are going to work all these 3 double crochet on the same stitch. And then once you are done with that, work a chain 2, turn and then work 1 double crochet, uh, sorry work 3 double crochets on the 3rd double crochet of the previous row. That is your uh, leftmost double crochets. and uh, then work a chain 2 again turn your work and then work 3 double crochet on the third double crochet of the previous round so we are going to repeat this pattern until we have the bag uh, handle length of about 46.5 uh, inches so basically you can work any length for this handle that's for your convenience. I've worked a cross body type uh, bag, bottle bag here. So if you want a shorter length, uh, you can do so. So we're going to just repeat this pattern until we reach 46.5 inches. And then uh, we will work slip stitches on the uh, 24th and 25th stitch of our round uh, 23. And then you can uh, fasten off slip stitch and weave your ends. So go ahead work uh, this bag handle 
until you reach a length of 46.5 inches and then work slip stitches on the 24th and 25th stitch of uh, round 23 and then works um, slip stitch and fasten off So here is our beautiful bottle bag which is very pretty, practical and cute. We have uh, completed our bag here and uh, you can find the complete uh, written pattern with pattern diagram in my website theyarnbowlcrochet.com. So I am just trying to fit in the bottle here one more time and uh, here it is our beautiful and colorful bottle bag is now ready um, this is a very simple and easy pattern you can try this and uh, please let me know your comments and find the written pattern in my website theyarnbullcrochet.com <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this cute little bottle bag pattern. Please uh, do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well. Thanks for watching. Bye.